Hello and welcome to Mrs. Green Thumb. I think that, um, it is freaking hot. Anyways, um, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope if you can't make it to the live stream, rewatch it. That would be helpful. Get the word out about monarch butterflies. Um, and I'm going to do something really pretty. How about I start off with the nice classical music for this? It deserves it. Hey, studio. Hi, Donna. Just thought I'd put some little bit of music this time first. I don't normally, but. Hello, guys. Welcome, Studio B, Donna, Gallery, Will, The Rocker Reel, and Organic Gardening in North Carolina. Thanks, Dave. You are the first. Yes, you are the first, Dave, here. You're funny. Absolutely. Thanks for joining me. What do you think? Just a little bit of music and then we'll bring it up here and show you. It's not a major change difference, but it is for me. I just told you I want to vlog it, so there the, there she is. Or she. We'll say she. Hey Jill. With the music. I thought it'd be nice. This is one of the ones I like. So I could talk and it wouldn't be kind of peaceful in the background. Uh, it's for commenting on my, oh, you are welcome. Um, so I'm here for the monarch butterfly, not really the gardening side of this right now. That's what I stick to. I stick to about the butterfly part of it. Um, I know you you raised a, a swallowtail there, Dave, organic gardening in North Carolina. We're talking, we're talking about butterflies and monarch butterflies especially. Um, I'm going to be doing a thing on, on Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard if you want to come and join me. It's going to be all about different butterflies from all over. But right now, uh, yeah, I'm here today. Nice computer tips. Hello. It's been a long time. Hello, Mike. Yeah, so it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, what can I tell you? 94 degrees for me. So I ran in the house. Well, that was cool. They don't really eat. They only eat it to be raised. They don't eat it as a butterfly, Donna. Um, they only eat it to be raised. Milkweed is where they lay the eggs. They lay, they hatch, they become, a, uh, if you paid attention to my live streaming, all the, the stuff I've done for three years, um, it's, you, you kind of have to go in and watch the beginning, but they're eggs that laid on um, monarch butterfly. We eat, they, I can't even talk today because I like them while having a heat stroke today. Um, you are taking a break with the mom. That's absolutely great. Five here, six people up. Anyways, let me do this again. If you check it all out, it's an egg that's laid on by a modern butterfly on milkweed. The, the egg hatches and it forms a caterpillar. The caterpillar eat until it lives and gets all nice and chunky and fat and then turns into a chrysalis, which turns into a butterfly, which making an extremely short story. I'm telling you because I've notated stuff. This is what live stream my 16 now so that's vlog 16 i was mix, mixing up the dates but I, anyways hey milkweed cures cooties you're so funny hi david hello david hey rachel how's it going thank you for joining me I love to see the pictures from the uh, the oil drills rigs were covered with monarchs in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. That's cool as long as you're not getting destroyed by the the oil. But yeah, it's kind of cool to how they migrate from Mexico all the way through the United States and up to Canada and back. Um, and that's kind of what I'm here for, vlogging every day until this particular butterfly or this you know we're calling her a she because I'm releasing her after my mom's name. For those of you who are not here all the time. So that's what I'm going to do. Release one under my family. And then afterwards, whoever's a regular to my channel, I would love to release one under your names. Um, that's what I plan on doing. And what can I say? That I just do, you know, 50 minutes. Pens. I feel like I'm really got heat stroke almost today. <laughs> Seriously. I, I'm not even a, talking with slurs. I'm not even talking really good. Um, that 
it was so hot, 94 degrees, and coming back on here, I almost didn't come because it's like, I don't even know if I'm making sense when I talk. Um, so Rachel's saying hello to everybody. That's fabulous. You guys are all saying hello. Any questions, answers? You want to put some stuff up there? Yeah, no problem, Donna. It's all good. Like I said, I'm here maybe for 15 minutes, maybe half hour. We'll see how it goes. Um, otherwise, I will not be on till tomorrow. And it's tomorrow's July 4th. So happy um, July 4th to all the people from the States. Yes, it's hot and we getting some bad weather down here. Yeah. I'm the same way. I don't drink enough water when I outside. Please hang in there. Stay hydrated. Yeah. I had a lemonade, the one I talked about. I went and got a lemonade. I had a glass of water. We just ate. And I still feel like, you know, when you feel like so, uh, it's it's like you feel dozy, I guess the best way I want to say it. You get like heat. The heat just got to me. So, and I still got to go do my gardening. I didn't even do any gardening yet. I didn't really, I was outside. We had to go find some stuff and do some, find some things. I had to go around to stores and get some stuff. But anyways, I didn't get anything done outside. And I don't want to go outside until probably after seven o'clock so that maybe it'll cool down a little bit, but it's supposed to be in the nineties, I guess, until Sunday. Um, so maybe we're going to have some kind of thunderstorm on Sunday or Monday, but this is definitely extremely high. I'm not saying we don't go that high, but it's high. 94 degrees is high for us, but we do. We've had moments like that before. Anyways, um, I think that the chrysalis in good shape. Um, I'm trying to see when the color starts to change. Like right now, on the chrysalis, which for the butterflies, I still see a black mark, like two black lines, like in a white line in between it. I don't see any dots or anything where I'm supposed to look for to see the sex of the butterfly. Um, it's going to start getting darker. As, as it starts to turn into the butterfly, that chrysalis, you're going to start to see it's not going to be just a minty green anymore. It's going to have a little bit of a darker tone in it, but it's not. it's still too early. Considering if I do my calculations right, I think we still have, as of today, seven more days at least before it uh, comes out, um, if I'm right. Like if it, but I don't know. I, I'm not nature. I'm not God. I'm nobody to predict it. Just thinking about 11 days, should, it should come out and have a beautiful butterfly. Um, we're having family, for, are you? Let me read the screen. We're having family... Supper tomorrow night. They're going fireworks, but no one is allowed to be at the park watching from mom's house. Okay. So they'll have fireworks, but you just have to be in your own place to see them, which is probably makes sense. You don't want them to congregate. You know, we have the law here now in Canada that, and I think it's a good thing, honestly, I'll back it. Um, everybody, if you want to go shopping, everybody has to wear masks in the stores and everybody that works in the stores have to wear a mask. So you're talking about, and they limit how many people go in a store. So, um, you know, they, they have somebody at the door and they go, okay, one left in, two can go in, one, two left, two can go in, one left, one can go in. So they keep monetizing the door, like monet, monetizing, monitoring the door so that they, so they have control. This is the, the law here for us. We have no choice and it's a good thing, I think. That they're watching how many people go in at the same time in the same space and you have to wear a mask going in uh and the whole time and everybody working have to wear a mask so that's what i was doing i was noticing that because we went out i had to go to the dollar store to pick up a stuff for the garden some um sticks i want metal sticks because i have some cucumbers that i need uh, to stake anyways and a few other things i needed a new garbage pail and that so uh we went and got a few things and that's what we noticed how you know, I'm glad I saw one person go in and I went, no, I don't think you're supposed to have no mask on. Um, but I respect it. I think it's a good thing. Uh, the more leaves the butterfly eats, the more bigger and stronger it will be. That's going to be a healthy monarch butterfly. It, it, it ate pretty good. Well, if we're going to the butterflies, but um, I'm driving down a semi back road and seeing a lot of milkweed. And some elderberry too. Oh, that's great. That's good, Dave. Absolutely good to hear that. Um, and, and as far as you, Will, what do we say? 
Yes, this, she ate a lot, or he. Well, I keep saying she. But the butterfly before, I remember really packing it on. Last year, the first butterfly I ate, saw, ate a lot. I thought it was bigger than this one. Like, not bigger, but ate more. The other two last year, I don't think I really paid attention. I knew they ate, but I didn't pay attention as much as this year. This one looked like it ate a lot, but I don't feel like it ate as much as the first one. So we'll find out. Yeah, I always safety first. I agree. Hey, Elsa. Oh, you switched your picture. I also got a new picture. What is that picture? You got a new one, eh, Elsa? Um, it always safety first. I agree. I wear a mask every time I go out and working vet tech with sweet animals. Yep, safety first for sure. And Elsa looks like she switched her picture. So, anyways, that's good to see. That, that, uh, did the caterpillar turn? No, that won't be for a few days, Elsa. Right there, you can see it. It's right there, honey. Have you not been here since? Right there. Look, I'll point to you right with my glasses. Right here. It's right there. That's it. It's a chrysalid. It, it takes a while. It doesn't change it metamorphosis overnight. It takes at least over 11, 11 days or more, give or take, before it turns into a butterfly. Yeah, it doesn't. It takes a while. It's kind of like you changing to an adulthood. You didn't get there like in one day. You got there in years. Yeah, I've missed a lot of your streams. Been busy. That's okay. That's not why I'm saying it. It's all good. I'm just saying that it it uh, takes a while to change. That's all I'm going to say. And yep, we hope you're doing wonderful too, darling. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm not trying to make anybody feel guilty. Not at all. I'm sorry if I do because I don't want to do that. I hope that people come because they like my content, not just to you know, just to meet people and never come back again. If you like my content and you're here for the content I do, I'm very happy to know you. Are those butterflies real? No. No, just to pretend. I just made that up to get people in as a, for a thumbnail. Um, uh, yes, thank you, Elsa. Thank you. That's cool. So I have, uh, that's, yeah, the butterflies are fake. My cousin's name is Elsa. I love Frozen. Yeah. That's a good show. I wish I could watch it. Thank you for the thumbs up. You guys are awesome. Um, yeah. Elsa's a pretty name. Elsa's a pretty name. And when Elsa becomes rich and famous, she'll come up back to me and say, look out, we're going to take care of Mrs. Green Thumb. She's old. <laughs> Uh, do you hear me, Elsa? I'm, I'm being funny. I said, Elsa, you're going to take off and have a million views, and I'll be still sitting here with, with 10 people or eight or six people on my channel. And then you can always promote and say, oh, Mrs. Green, go check her out. And then they'll come in for a second, and then, then they leave again. Oh, did you? Good. Uh, I, just, I just thought I'd play on that because I think uh, you keep it up. Hard work pays off, and you've been working hard, and um, it's a good thing, doll. It's a good thing. I'm all for it. If you do good, people like your content, good for you. Cheerio, doll. Cheerio. You're dying. She's laughing now. You're dying now. Yep. She's gonna get a, she's gonna get a million views, and then she's gonna go. Oh, please go check out Mrs. Green Thumb. And then they come for a second and go, yeah, okay, and they leave. I have one thousand seven. You have one thousand seven hundred and. You're going to get up there. I'm almost to 2,000. And, well, you're getting there. It takes work. It took me a long time to get where I am. But trust me, I really haven't worked extremely hard to go find names because I gave up on that a while ago. I figured if people want to come to my channel, they're coming for my content. And I don't have to work. I'm not chasing people to come to like me. You got to like what I do. That's it. You got Let It Go as your song. That is great. Fantastic, Will. Yeah. Oh, but Elsa, I, one day, I, I, when you get big and famous, um, you're going to have me on, and I'm going to talk about the monarch butterfly, and I'm going to promote it uh, on your channel later on when you get old enough and, and you are really got all those numbers and I'm staying behind. Uh, yeah. Now oh, you'll get it, Elsa. Don't worry about it. 
don't stress, my darling. You you will get it. You work you're working hard enough. You'll see it. Just all my advice is to do is do it kindly and nice, and not, don't like kind of force people on your channel. And it'll work. It'll work for you. As as long as they like your content, they'll stay with you. Well, that's good. It can be monetized. Yeah. Oh, are you old enough? Though? Are you 18 now? Yeah, but I have I have to be over 18 for it, though. Yeah. Yeah, you got to wait, else. You'll have it. You, you know what? You'll be one step ahead of a lot of people. So just don't get depressed. Don't get, be discouraged. You're going to do fine. You'll see. Um, and I am going to promote my, I will still be here next year promoting a butterfly. And I'll be stamping my feet saying, can't you guys get with it? Listen, guys, you know how important it is, the subject I'm talking about? Jesus, Johnny. Anyways, I'm just being silly. I'm just yapping. Look, I went past the 15 minutes, too. Um, I got my first one. Huh? Well, there you go. That's cool. Yes. Well, thanks, honey. Yeah. Actually, you want to know something? Um, I don't know if I told you, but I talked about the that bad word, that C word. And you know that my whole thing, my whole live stream came down on me and uh, he took it off. So um, I, I do have to be careful now that I know I've been hit on certain things. Got to be careful. But again, I got to say focus. What are we here for? We here are for the monarch butterfly, guys. Mana, any any new comments? Any got any more ideas? You know, besides they have six eyes and they don't, have, their vision's not very good, and their um, feelers. That's why they need the feelers um, to get there. And you can all the chat that I did for all the sixteen live streams before, you can check it out. Yes. So let's take it out now that you said that. We can't talk about it, and I'm going to remove even the word on here because I got already kicked off, Elsa. Um, a garden stream. Well, I don't know if I want to do garden stream because that's one video, uh, one stream. I don't know. Mrs. Green Thumb, I'll be doing shout outs on Monday. All right, darling. Okay. All righty. I appreciate that. So, um, I can't wait though. It's going to get a tense moment as it gets closer and closer. Um, and the day that. Like I said, if in 11 days, if this is not born, um, I'm going to do a long live stream off and on so my computer doesn't overheat. I am darn and determined to capture this butterfly being from the chrysalis. That is one thing I didn't do yet in the three years I've done it. Um, I showed it coming, but people, any, I even showed it being crystallized, but I have never caught it on a live stream where it came out and was born right from the chrysalis. And I still find that. Look at that thing. It's like not even an inch big. It's like three quarters of an inch. And a big, huge butterfly comes out of that tiny little thing. It's still, I'm still like, wow, I don't get it. How can it be so squished in there and come out of that tiny little thing? It's just incredible. Pops that crystal open and comes right out. That's Will. That's nice and positive for her. That's it, nice and positive. I know, eh? It was very tiny. And I'm going to actually, as soon as it's not so hot, I'm going to go look for some more eggs, Will. Well, I'll be coming in and out. So, oh, so okay, Elsa, that's all right. I am going to, um, yeah, I'm going to try. I, I, You know, I got the milkweed. I got to go see. It might have been, I don't know if I got it rooted because... The heat is so extremely hot, and I'm trying to keep it wet, that it might have died my milkweed moving it. So I really have to – I'm going out there after like 6, 7 o'clock tonight and go check on it. And I might have to get some more. If it dies off, I'm going to have to get some more and keep doing it and do it until I get the right way to actually get this brooded. Moving milkweed is not easy to do or even growing it at times, but it's possible. Hey, Tim. They have slow motion clapping wings. In the U.S., they travel 3,000 miles every year. They are poisonous chrysalids, have gold studs. The caterpillar eat their 
Shed skins. Well, there you go. Tim thought he'd be kind and jump in there and put some stuff on it. Thanks, Tim. And good evening to Tim. So we'll see what happens. I think people are waiting for the big day uh, when it happens. But I got a report on a day to day. Let's see what happens. Like I said, the day I have to think of. I know I'm down to seven days, I believe before my my 11th day for hatching. Uh, that's what I understand. When I did my calculations on a, my first video, it showed me, I think, 11 days, and it came. Last year, I said, oh, no, there's no way it's going to hatch in 11 days. And they hatched on the 11th day. I just didn't catch it on film. I want to catch this on film, guys. I want to know that I've caught it on film. You guys get to see it at any point in time you want to watch it. It'll be right there. And then I continue doing this again, find some eggs and start all over again. But as soon as the season is done and I can't do any more, then I will be done this vlog of butterflies. When I'm done, the last butterfly that I can hatch is done. Oh, you didn't see. I wish I, you didn't went here this morning. I took a picture. I wish I could show you. Well, I don't have it, but it's a picture with it all were together this morning. On the live stream this morning, um, I threw, threw in a picture of them all together on my bed. I was resting yesterday. Um, Lacey was in the middle, and all four cats were around her. And I have all five animals on my bed in one picture, which I was so cool to take. Because that doesn't happen. They're not normally all together at one point in time being peaceful to each other. They're always fighting. So I, to me, thought that was a pretty cool picture. And so Shadow and all of them are doing quite well. Yeah, they're in the other room. I got to be careful. A matter of fact, I should have took with the butterfly. So technically, I have the butterfly here and all the animals in one room. And they're all, you know, relaxing and just mellowing out all together. It was, it's a cool picture. Because I, I won't leave them alone in, in here with the caterpillar. I have to, I don't trust them. So I just have to, she's, this little butterfly is, caterpillars in the safest spot in my house protected because I don't leave the door open in here and I just come in check in shut the door and they can't come in here without me but they almost think like this is a treat when I open this room up because they're not allowed in here they all know they got to be good it's kind of like the sanctuary I don't know it's really funny they have they know they can't come in my bedroom unless they're good and get along so they all quietly move slowly come in my bedroom and then they don't cause any trouble they just lay on the bed and just kind of relax and stay with me and no fighting. This is the one room in my house that they don't fight in. So it's kind of cool. And Tim says, hello, I'm all good. Hope everyone is well, including the baby monarch. Absolutely. Can't wait, Tim. Can't wait. Just we gotta wait for a little bit. They were well. I'll have to show you tomorrow. Whatever. Whenever next time I see you in the morning or something. If you're on the live stream, I'll show you. I'll bring it up to show you how good they were. But tomorrow we're celebrating July 4th. So that's my thing. If I'm here in the morning and I wake up in time, I'll celebrate July 4th with people from the States. That's, and I'll, I, I want to show what to grow, what, what's, what's the celebration about. And anything to do with July 4th is going to be about tomorrow of life. And then we'll go move back to my vegetables and all the stuff I've been growing. I'll do stuff like that. So I think I'm going to make this like a half an hour live stream. I have about six more minutes. So, you know, I'll be back on my vlog tomorrow. Uh, that's day 17. I'm just trying to make sure. I think this makes sense because I think I was off the numbers. Say 16. So if I go 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 2, 23. Seven more days. Makes 23 days. It takes, yep, I think I'm good with my numbers now. I think I was off. I kept saying I was on like 14, but it's definitely 15, day 15. Hey, welcome back. 
Thank you for coming back, studio. And thanks for hanging with me all the time. You're awesome. I have to get you a song eventually. It takes me a couple minutes. You got to listen what you like, and then just grab one of my songs that I have. And we'll say, Studio B, this is your song for coming all the time. So, yeah, I think I'm going to get off. We're all going to have a little relax moment time, and then I'm outside after it cools down a bit. Hopefully, what would you say, what do you think the highest uh, temperature, I think it's 4 o'clock. You know when the day reaches its peak of how high it's going to get for the day? Can you guys, who can tell me what time that is? What time, like it's 4.30 for me. It was, I was just came in here not that long ago when it was 94 degrees. I think that I thought four o'clock was the ultimate highest it'll go. And then when the, it starts to set down the sun, um, it'll start to cool off. It won't be as hot, but it'll still be hot. Does anybody have a time for me? Absolutely. Does anybody know a time though? Of when, you know, when it's the temperatures at its highest point. So if it's 94 degrees now, when's, when is it going to go down instead of up? Is there a set time for that? That's what I want to know. Does anybody have a number for it? Look at that little baby, not even moving at all. It was moving until a few days ago. Now it's like totally squished up in there, I think. Honestly, I don't think there's a set time temperature. It could always stay the same. Um, I restart my phone, only buffering. Uh-oh. All right, there, studio. I might be gone pretty soon, though. I think I'm just going to make this. Uh, I'm hanging in, and I, I'm thanking you for hanging in with me, but probably about 30 minutes. I'll go a little less. Uh, thank you. Thanks, Will. Everybody, remember to hit the thumbs up for Mrs. Green Thumb. We all are family. Have a wonderful, blessed evening. Happy 4th. Yes, I'm here for a couple minutes, and... Alrighty. So how's everybody's day before I get off? I got about a couple minutes. Is everybody having a good day so far, I hope? I hope and don't forget to spread the love. Don't forget, let's plant those milkweed. That's what my standing thing is. Mel plant milkweed. And when I learn how to plant it really good, I'm going to tell you step by step what I did. So far, it's okay. But it's not, it's in shock still. So it hasn't really, the roots have not stabilized yet, I want to say, in, inside the ground. So I'm trying to get it to stabilize. And I'm going to tell you uh, my advice on that after about milkweed. But if you're planning on picking it, make sure you take all the root bulb of a milkweed and make sure it's a smaller one. You have a better chance of relocating a smaller milkweed than you do a bigger one with the flowers and all set. It's probably going to die. So, yeah, let's not kill any more milkweed. Let's just see, make sure we transplant it as best we can. Do, 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 do. Ooh, God, I'm so hot in here. Hot, hot to my day. Thank you, guys, one and only. And I'll be here for a vlog tomorrow in about, we're dropping down to 10 minutes, 10 seconds. And I'll be back tomorrow. My live streams are from 15 minutes to an hour. At the most, I have to thank each and every one of you. Thank you for coming by. I will see you later. Bye, guys. Thanks for the thumbs up. Bye.